Hey, happy Friday to you and welcome back to the Friday Funnies. Well, the chaos is over. Or maybe it's just beginning. But either way, we elected a new president this week. Donald Trump becomes the second president to serve two terms that are not in a row. Grover Cleveland was the other president, but nobody knows anything about him other than the fact that he was named after a city in Ohio. And if you've never been to Grover, Ohio, it's worth a visit. Trump said that Robert Kennedy Jr. will be in charge of health care. And that should be interesting. I mean, this is a man with a worm in his brain who strapped a whale head to his car and moved a roadkill bear to Central Park to make it look like a bicycle accident. Certainly seems like the perfect guy to put in charge of our health care. Maybe he'll come up with a vaccine to prevent stupidity. I predict Elon Musk will be put in uh, charge of designing the ugliest car in history. However, his wedge-shaped vehicle looks pretty bulletproof, so it might make for a good motorcade car. And I think Hulk Hogan will be hired as a bodyguard to stand outside the Oval Office. Time will tell how my predictions turn out, but right now, I predict that a majority of you will find the funny in the following features. Sweden is best known for their massages and their meatballs, but another fact is that they speak a different language than we do. This can lead to confusion for the visiting tourist. For instance, the Swedish word for limit is control, and the Swedish word for speed is fart. So a speed limit sign reads, fart control. You just can't make up stuff like that. And just for the record, I think Fart Control would make a great band name. <laughs> Paul Hadfield is a 51-year-old British man who was on vacation in Thailand. More specifically, he went to the Freelancer Hotel in Pattaya, the heart of the Red Light District. It's not known how Paul was partying or who he might have been partying with, but people in an internet cafe loaded right, located rather right below his room heard groaning and banging, and then they got to meet Paul when he crashed through their ceiling. Now falling through the ceiling is bad enough, but this guy was also naked and covered in poo. When police checked his room, they found there was more poop smeared all over. And the weird thing is, the police said he did nothing illegal. So he, he had to settle with the hotel for damages. But this naked, poop-covered tourist is our unchallenged dumbass of the week. As you know, Google is found around the world, and Russia is not too happy with it. Of course, Russia is never too happy about anything, but this time they're really angry because Google recently removed state-run and pro-government videos from YouTube, which it also owns. Russia is so mad about this, they said Google cannot be in their market unless they pay a small fine of two undecillion rubles. Look down here. Look down over here. That's two followed by 36 zeros. And if you convert it into dollars, it amounts to a couple of jillion. Google has not commented on the fine other than to say that they have started a GoFundMe page. That's it for another week, my friends. Thank you for joining me. Please listen to my podcast, Another Day Above Ground, and tell your friends about our show here on the, on the Friday Funnies. That being said, have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you next Friday.